Side characters in Naruto had wasted potential. It's no secret that a lot of the side characters in Naruto, specifically in part one of the story, were thrown to the wayside as the story went on towards Shippuden. It's unfortunate because a lot of these characters had a lot of potential built for them, but the story didn't allow them to be utilized in a meaningful way. This is one of the main critiques people have with the Naruto story, and I happen to agree. A lot of the side characters of Naruto ended up being useless by the end of the show. The biggest offender at being a wasted side character was Rock Lee. No doubt in my mind, he'd be number one in most people's list since he gave a stellar performance in part 1, which led many people to believe he'd be inherently impacting the story going forward. His drive and determination led many viewers entrapped by his struggle and related to it, which made fans want to see more out of him. Coupled that with some stellar fights, like his fight against Gara and his fight against Kimimaru, it's no doubt that he was destined for greatness. But alas, Shippuden came around and he was basically amounted to nothing. His most notable fight was one with himself, which was one of the worst fights in the show, and he barely got any screen time afterwards. He made some efforts in the war arc, like when his kick sliced Edomaru in half, but that's so negative that most people don't remember that. If given a chance to redo some parts of Naruto, I would definitely include Rock Lee into the mix to make his inclusion in the overall story worth it. Sticking with Team Guy for a moment, Neji is also another character that became useless as a side character. After his fight with Naruto in the tuning exams, he changed his perspective on how he views destiny and that he's not going to let anyone make it for him and that he'd set out to do what he wants in becoming a better person than Ninja. The issue with this is that he was destined to be a protector for the main branch of the Hyuga clan and that's what he ended up doing in the war arc when he sacrificed his life to save Hinata. Now, you could argue that he chose to do that himself, being that he has a better relationship with Hinata, to which I'd argue what relationship? Now, it's not like we see any resentment between Neji and Hinata throughout Shippuden, but that's because we barely got to see Neji at all. It makes his death all the more stupid because of not only it being out of nowhere, but because he basically died to a freaking twig of all things. And now, some may argue that his death led to Hinata and Naruto becoming more of a couple because of it. You mean a ninja had to die in front of them in order for that to happen? Nah, don't buy it, nor do I endorse it. Maybe if we see Neji interact with Hinata and Naruto more, but even then that's a bit murky. Neji died a dumb death and will be regulated as a wasted side character because of it. This may be more of an underrated pick, but I would highlight Shino as a side character with wasted potential as well. I think a lot of people forget that during the tuning exams, he was low key a G. His fight against Zaku was pretty brutal, especially in the manga, and showed the coldness of Shino, making him more interesting. His fight later on with Konkuro cemented that, especially when he was able to Merc Conqueror with his insects and showed his high IQ at work. But aside from that, that was pretty much the peak of Shino. In Shippuden, he basically becomes a loner based teenager, losing whatever cool factor he had during the Chuni exams. Then later on in Boruto, at least the anime version, he's more so treated as a joke. This could be considered the biggest downgrade in terms of wasted side character potential, because as with most others, it's mainly because he didn't get enough screen time, or more so that when we do see him in later parts of the show, his moments aren't worth noting, especially because his characterization was given the 180 treatment. Definitely a wasted character. And might I add, that it'd be a waste for you to get through the remainder of this video without hitting the like button. While you're at it, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more Naruto content just like this. You won't regret it. Kurenai is one of those characters that people just write off because of her few showings, but that makes it important to highlight as to why she's a wasted character in the show. My issue with her is that we know she's supposedly a Genjutsu specialist, but the main fight we get to see her in is against Itachi Uchiha, literally the worst person she could fight at that point, and it led to her being brutally defeated by Itachi. I feel like the pill would have been better swallowed if we saw her in action beforehand and you her Genjutsu on someone else, but it still would have sucked as a showing regardless, since we don't see Kurenai that often to care about her in the first place. Then later on in Shippuden, she becomes a mom and is just regulated as a stay at home wife. Or widow, I should say. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but in a show about ninjas where one of the characters is supposedly a Genjutsu specialist and it doesn't amount to anything, it goes to show the uselessness of her character. It's unfortunate that it's the case, but chalk it off to the writers not knowing what to do with the character. The last side character with wasted potential I want to mention is gonna be Anko. She was generally a cool character we got introduced to in the Chuni exams, with her being a different teacher than most with her zany attitude, but knew when to get serious when need be. Once she found out Orochimaru was putting his slimy hands on things in the exams, she knew she had to put in the work in order to try to stop whatever he was plotting. She may have failed, but her efforts were noted, especially after learning she was a student of Orochimaru, as well as a guinea pig to test on with the curse mark. I thought it would have been interesting to see more of her story flesh out, but she got regulated to a lesser role in Shippuden, since the most notable thing that happened to her was that she was kidnapped by Kabuto for Orochimaru's chakra, then Sasuke used her curse mark to revive Orochimaru. She was pretty much useless afterwards and is just out of the loop for the remainder of Shippuden. It's all downhill from here, as her wants and sugary treats resulted in her becoming Choji 2.0 in the Boruto era, and just being a teacher in the academy. Nothing else to note besides 
that making her a wasted side character as well. There are a lot more side characters that don't get fair treatment in the show, which would mean this video may receive a part 2 at some point, but for now, I'll pass the question off to you guys. Which side character in Naruto do you think had the most wasted potential? Is it anyone that I mentioned in this video, or do you have a few of your own? I'd love to get y'all's opinion, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see side characters actually be useful in the show, click the card you see here which will lead you to my video on how some of the side characters are not that bad. I'm the Curly Hokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.